guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so, so happy that you are here. Today I have a 4 for 4. I have been wearing these palettes and I have opinions on them. I will swatch them all and rank them at the end. Before I get started, um, my makeup is a little weirder than usual. I'm testing out a new foundation and I tested out a new hairbrush and so my hair doesn't, it is, could not get the hairbrush to make my hair lay flat. So just ignore the little weird poof in the back. Anyway, if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here. Um, if you have not already subscribed, if you click on many of these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Please do hit that like, but like button as well, because it really does help out small, uh, creators here on YouTube. First palette that I have is the Too Faced That's My Jam palette. Then I have the Violet Voss Coral Pop. This was a mini in Ipsy. Then there is the Nub Nubian by Juvia's. This is the mini version. And then finally is the Color Pop and Hello Kitty Snow Much Fun palette. I'm gonna start with the Nubian palette. So it says that three of them are considered pressed pigments and three of them are considered eyeshadows. I wear them all as eyeshadows. I've worn this one quite a bit since I got it. I got this in an Allure Beauty box. It's been, gosh, almost two years. Maybe it's been two years. Anyway, this is what the shades look like. This one it does not have a mirror in it. And the thing with pressed pigments is in some countries they are considered eye safe, but in the United States they are not. So just take that with kind of a grain of salt and test them out, see if you have reactions. That's really the main thing. All right, so the Nubian palette, this is what they all look like swatched. As you can see, they swatch absolutely beautifully. The shimmers in this palette are so amazing. I love each one of them. This one is almost more of, like these are more sparkly, I feel, but this one just has a beautiful like sheen when it goes on the eye. I think it's really pretty. I do really like this palette. This is not the same quality as the other mini palettes that they've been putting out in the past year or so. I was so excited to get those and I was not impressed. I've already um, reviewed one of them in a four for four. I'll have it linked up above, but this is the same quality as in their bigger palettes. I like that it's very edited down. The only thing is I feel like the shimmer and the dark are pretty similar in color, so I would change out something there. And I do find that I do need something for under the brow bone because there's just not really one for my skin tone that works, but I think if you have a deeper complexion, uh, you would find this just beautiful. They're really pigmented, they're really good quality. Like I said, I've worn this one so much over the years, that's why I really wanted to highlight it in one of these because I feel like a lot of the 444s are ones that I haven't worn as much, but I love this palette. I think it's a really good one and I highly recommend this one. The second palette is the Violet Voss Coral Pop. Now there is the Coral Crush palette, which is very big and I do have that one as well and I've compared them and they don't have a lot of over, like I didn't really see any overlap in shade names or colors. I think this is a nice version of the Coral Pop. It's kind of like the Natasha Denona mini palettes versus the big ones. They kind of complement each other a little bit. So this one does come with a mirror, unlike the Juvia's Place one. And this is what the six colors look like. This one I don't believe is sold at Violet Voss, their website, but you know, a lot of people get these in their Ipsy bags and then they sell them. And that's why I wanted to review it. I also just love the color story. It has one shimmer, that's it. And then it has five mattes, which is really nice. And this one, it does say it does have pressed pigments in it. It does not disclose on the actual package which ones are the um, pressed pigments and which ones are not though. All right, and that's what they look like swatched. As you can see, this one definitely has one that I can use as a brow bone or an all over color because it matches my skin tone almost perfectly. It's really hard to even see where it is on my hand. You can bar barely see it. There are some beautiful colors. I love that bright pop of coral. I like this orangey shade too, but I also really like the brown. So I could do some neutral looks. I could do a little bit more fun than a neutral look. And then the shimmer is gorgeous. I really like it. These are very soft uh, shades as well. They're, they easily blend. I really like Violet Voss's formula usually. And yeah, I just, I think this is a beautiful palette as well. I do like this one. And I would recommend getting this one too. 
All right, next up is from Too Faced. This is the That's My Jam palette. They did several of these mini ones. Some of them like feel tacky even for um, like the aesthetic of Too Faced. Like usually they're cutesy, you know, That's My Jam, Peanut Butter and Jelly, and then they did the Kitty Lights to Scratch and Light My Fire. And the packaging just doesn't look like Too Faced. It looks like a parody of somebody doing Too Faced. So I was very confused by that. I did not get those. I'm not really into the color stories, but the color on story on this one, and then there's one other one that I picked up as well. I just really liked it. This does have a nice size mirror in it, and you do get eight shades in this one. This is available at like all retailers, so it's pretty easy to find and get on sale. And it's supposed to have a light scent to it. It's but I don't really get a light scent to it. Like, I guess there's something kind of there, but there, it's not really overwhelming or anything. These are all considered eyeshadows as well. It does not say pressed pigments on the packaging. All right, and this is what they look like swatched. Now the mattes did have a lot of kick up. I did have to blow on my hand because there was just extra powder, even though I went in with the same pressure on my fingers as I did with the other ones, but this just, they didn't go down as smoothly. There are some pretty, there are some pretty colors in here. I do really like this uh, shimmer right there. It's almost like it sh shifts a little bit. Um, this one, this shimmer is more of a chunky shimmer. It doesn't lay down and like stay. It feels like it's more flaky than other shimmer shades. This one lays down really nicely, and I do like that one. That's that purple. It also kind of has that shift to it. And then the sh um, the mattes are okay. I don't really love the co color story altogether of it. I was expecting a little bit more, but I feel like it, like the brownish orangey doesn't really fit. I had a harder time making looks, and this one doesn't show up as much on the eye as I was hoping for. Um, it's definitely one that you probably need to wet if you want it to be really vibrant and to look like what it does in the pan. All right, the last palette is the Hello Kitty uh, and ColourPop Snow Much Fun. Now, I apologize that this is a little late. This was like a collection that came and went really fast, like super, super fast. So you might be able to find this like secondary market and um, I also, I took a month off of filming, over a month off of filming, and this was one of the videos that I was planning to get up, you know, uh, early March, so I apologize, or February, whenever I, like, during that break, this was one of the videos that was supposed to go up, it just got delayed. This is what the shadows look like, you do get nine pans in this, and this is all, it says it's a pressed pigment palette palette so not all of these are considered eye safe in the United States. I should show that this one does not have a mirror it does have a very cute little scene though and it says slay all day with her little sled. So this is what the palette looks like if you can see the top row are all shimmers the middle row are all mattes and then these are these weird kind of mattes with a shimmer in them so they have a little bit of glitter in them. I think that's probably the ones that are not considered eye safe. It does not say on the packaging if some of them are eyeshadows or not, which is interesting. This one I did really like. I like that there's a couple darker colors, but that pink is, I mean, this is very much my color story. The pink and this pink seem almost similar. They're not too similar, but um, you could get similar looks I think you could have substituted something else there. But I do like this. I think it is a pretty palette. I love Hello Kitty, so that was a big part of why I wanted this collection in the first place. But I was pleasantly surprised with this. ColourPop is usually pretty solid quality. I could have done without the glitters in there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see there's little hints of flex in there. But the shimmers are very nice. I did really enjoy the shimmers in this palette. All right, time for the rankings and whether I think they are worth buying or not. So in fourth place is going to be the Too Faced That's My Jam palette. I don't think this one is worth picking up unless you're a collector of the mini tins and you really just want it um, or the color story is like 
really calling to you. I feel like there are better quality shadows out there. This is not the same quality as their other minis, like the Shake Your Pom Poms or the mini peach that they did. Not the same quality as all, not nearly as good. I was disappointed in this one. In third place, I'm going to put the ColourPop palette for a couple reasons. One, it's not readily available, so that kind of puts a damper on it, but also um, I feel like the other two palettes are just a little bit better. I do like this palette. I do like the shimmers. I think they're very soft and beautiful. I like the color story. I just feel like the other two edge it out just a little bit. So in second place, I'm putting the Violet Voss palette, and that's just because this, I feel like, is a palette I can reach for all the time. I could do lots of looks for. I can do really workplace neutral looks, but I can also do um, some fun looks as well. And it's shocking to me because this one only has one shimmer, but that shimmer is so nice. I do love that one. And I do recommend that one. I would recommend the Hello Kitty, like if you can find it for a decent price, like don't pay $20 or like don't pay more than $20 or 25. Like there's probably going to be a little markup, which is fine, but don't go crazy because I know sometimes resellers just jack up the prices and it's ridiculous. In first place, I'm going to put the Juvia Place Nubian palette, the mini one. And this one I know is available at Ulta because I've seen it in store on the like their little mini, like all the fun minis. And I just love this one. The shimmers are so beautiful. I do really like the mattes too. It's not the best for my personal color story. Like I need something lighter. So it's I need something else to supplement it, which I'm fine with because the quality is just so good and the, they work so well, they last so well. I really do like this one. So that's it. Let me know if you've tried any of these palettes, what your experiences are with them um, and what your opinions are on my opinions. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. If there are palettes that you want to see in my next 4 for 4, not the next one. I'm working on that one. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes. <laughs> Um, let me know and I will try, I haven't started putting together that next four for four. So let me know if there's something you want to see. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.